Show up to you there, buddy. Not much, man. What is this? Uh, it's a uh, power probe. I got to uh, siphon my gas into that tank. Yeah. Yeah, so just so I can yeah. put this tank on back finally. So right. Braven ended up figuring out what exactly to do with that whole filter situation. Uh, I mentioned to you guys whenever he did the fuel system. Just ended up going and getting a new one of those filters. Um, and everything's working, bro. Man still has a full tank of gas right there. Gas is going up again, bro. Dude, it's stupid. What the stupid, hell? Bro. I was like, you know what? I got some gas in there whenever it was cheap. Yeah. So How many gallons is this, you know? I think it's 20, bro. 20? Yeah, I really do think it's 20. That's not bad. Yeah. What was this one? That one was 15. So that holds more than that? Yeah, I don't know, bro. It's a weird shape. <laughs> that's why. Yo, let me get some of this, man. What's up? Hey, man. Pull the truck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that shit's coming out so freaking slow. Yeah. This is fuel pump. So I never really got a chance to show you guys the parts all painted, so they came out really nice, bro. Stupid ass clean. I'm probably not even gonna have to wet sand and buff this stuff. It came out pretty smooth, I ain't gonna lie. Of course, the only problem is now, I gotta get all of that to look like this. <laughs> God dang. It's hard to tell, but I mean, the color is pretty close. I'm sure it doesn't look close in the camera at all, but in person, it looks pretty close. Um, I kind of want to try to just put a clear coat on the gas cap and see how they look next to one another. I don't know, I've been kind of thinking about contemplating just going and getting enough paint to spray the entire car. And yes, I know, you guys have been put in the comments since I brought it up. Just paint the whole damn car, but uh, it is a lot of work and a lot of work that I wasn't really planning on doing to that thing at the moment. So now my next dilemma that I'm faced with is I don't know where to put all this stuff, man. So I can't put all this stuff back on the car, but um, I also can't just leave it sitting in here. I, I need to find a safe place to actually store all of this until it's time to put it all back on. And I don't know where that, um, I don't know where that safe place is at. <laughs> What better place than in the freaking living room? <laughs> it's, it's the safest place in my house. What can I say? All right, so to get the rest of this damn car looking like the pieces we painted, it's going to be a lot of work, bro. I haven't even primered this damn bumper yet. We do have a lot more disassembly that we need to do to this damn thing. I want to get this door off. Um, I think I've decided... I'm just gonna go ahead and try to repair this door. So I need to get this door off. I need to get this fender off so that I can still finish repairing the damage at the bottom. The hood obviously needs to come off and this fender needs to come off as well. So for the most part, the entire front end and the driver door all has to come the hell off this car. So more than anything, I really want to get this damn door off. <laughs> but in order to get the door off, I have to get this fender off. So you open the door up all the way and you cannot access the bolts. You basically have to have it shut in order to get to them. 
Uh, they're right there. Actually, I might be able to get to them right here. Yeah, but it's not worth it. That fender has to come off anyhow. So in order to get this door off, like I said, I got to get the fender off. But in order to get the fender off, I have to take the damn hood off because the hood hinges are actually sitting on top of the damn fender. Long story short, this is going to be a process. A disassembly process. The whole damn thing got to come apart. <laughs> I'm gonna do that cut, 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 so my feet don't ever touch the ground, so I'm taller than your bitch ass. <laughs> Man, one thing I will say about these older GM vehicles, bro, like I learned from the Blazer and obviously the truck, uh, taking them apart. They use a lot of bolts, bro. Like, God, I, I'm hoping that these fenders aren't like that, but we're fixing to find out. Like the truck and the Blazer? I swear to you, there was 30 bolts on each side, and it's like you get every single one of them damn near out. There could be like two left, and that fender is as solid as it is with all 30 of them in. <laughs> like, whatever reason, I don't know, but uh, there's one. Looks like one, two, three, four. I'd imagine there's a couple inside of the door. Got a rod down there that is connecting to the bottom. Oh yeah, look, there's one right here and one right there. I don't know, I don't think this is gonna be as bad as the blazer or the truck, but it looks like there's quite a few. Every bolt is a damn 10, except for that one on the bottom. Looks like it's like a freaking 13. Yep, 13. Well, happy damn there, buddy. That wasn't bad at all. So this side had one 13, and let's see here, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. So eight tens and one 13 for a total of nine bolts holding that on there. Dude, I'm not even exaggerating whenever I tell you. That blazer literally had like 30 per side. There was like 60 bolts all together just to get the fenders off. But um, it also had metal wheel liners. I'm gonna bag those up in a little bit. What the hell? That's lovely, bro. All right, honestly, I have problems figuring out where the hell to jack this car up, but I'm still not jacking up where I know I shouldn't be jacking this damn thing up. <laughs> if you look at this little pinch section on the bottom of the fender, there's supposed to be two bolts right here, it looks like. That 13 I was talking about and a 10 that was missing from the other side. I can't even access them because this little pinch point is completely folded up to where it's pointing at the fender. So I have to straighten this all out. You can see... You see the damn bolt sticking out right there. <laughs> Always something, bro. Shit never can just be freaking easy. All right, let's see if we can get this out of here without beating the shit out of the fender. We got turnage. Come on, do me right. Do me right, man. We're definitely gonna have to straighten this out some more, but. Okay, I think it's infinite spinning. Yes, sir, we've got the infinite spin. Oh, there's a freaking nut on the back. Bro, are you kidding me?
Ah, get another wrench. Shit! Custom spacers. Ah, nice. Very nice. Shims. That's what we'll call it. Custom shims. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice, my friend. I'll buy. How much? Spiders are not your friend. You must kill them on contact. All right. This is definitely a uh, sort of fit fender. But hey, what can I say? It's sort of fit. <sighs> Bang, sucker. What's up? <laughs> Antenna. <laughs> I am coming for you, my child. You are mine. Nothing stands between us now. <laughs> well, it looks like we got three 13s on the top and one 13. Well, there's three on the bottom also, but one goes this way and two of them are from the inside out. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Open this back up. All right, I'm pretty sure what we're looking for is gonna be behind this damn panel. And I can only see, well, I see this Phillips screw right here. I think there's one right in the center somewhere. Right there. I'm hoping that's it, but of course I have the hood latch on here as well. I hope I don't have to take that all apart just to get this damn panel out of the way, just to get those damn screws out of the way, just to get the damn door off. It's like you got to remove one thing to remove another in order to remove another to remove another. I can't see what is in there. I can just feel there's something there. I think I'm in it. I think we're in there. Nice. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> Another Phillips. All right. Um. Oh, sick. The hood latch don't come with it. Hell freaking yes. Very nice. Come on. Give it to me. Ta-da! We're in like Flynn. I don't even know what that means, but it's provocative. White people don't even know what it means. I don't know what that is, but it's hiding in there. Ho oh, ho ho, I found our bolts. Those bitches are big. Those things look like a 17. Or actually, probably a 15. Remember, it's a Chevy, bro. It's, it's a Chevy. Yep, show sure enough, 15. Get you guys in there so you see what I see. Do you see what I see? Yeah, there it is. That's our two hidden bolts. And they are 15 millimeters. Uno. Two. Yeah, ratchet. Ratchet time! Dun -na 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 -na. Dun -na 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 -na. Come on, really? I ain't gonna shallow socket. Shallow socket ratchet time. Na -na 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 -na. All right, that's everything. I really hope this door don't try to kill me. Yay! Yay! I gotta take this into the garage for disassembly. Don't disassemble Johnny number five.
all right i need to get my tools picked up but uh yeah that's everything that i want to get pulled off of the camaro for the time being i don't think honestly i don't think there's anything else that i'm gonna have to take off unless i end up painting the entire car i don't know yet uh, i'm gonna try to get away with not painting it because as you can see everything that is left has a even coat of paint on it it's just if i can get the entire car to match or not that's going to be the issue um it's gonna it's going to most certainly require some blending i'm gonna have to blend the parts in and the entire thing of course is going to get a clear coat it's gonna have to um after i get it all blended but now that i do have a bunch of parts off i need to go through and do some more cleaning i want to scrub all of this area clean all this stuff up believe me i really would like to just go the whole nine yards man scuff all this and actually spray all this all fresh and all that but i just don't have the time to invest into this right now to that extent and if i'm being honest with you i'm trying to get very good results out of this that's my goal is i want it to look really good i don't want it to just i don't want it to look half ass i want it to look really good but i want to get it there by being kind of half ass if i'm being honest i mean i mean I, i'm gonna do a good job of course that's what i'm trying to do that's my goal is to do a good job but i would like to see how good we can get this to look without painting the whole thing with just doing parts and on a budget bro like i am i am under 500 dollars on everything that i have done so far so on material and everything i'm under 500 of course that's not including my personal time yeah if i can get this thing looking mint as fuck boy for under a thousand dollars bro i mean come on now but anyhow with the door now off i need to get this thing disassembled that's the goal is to kind of take this all apart and I'm gonna to try to massage this metal and get it as good as I possibly can since I can't find a manual door in any of my junkyards. I got some body work I gotta do on the bottom of this CertiFit fender and we need to get this primered and get all this damn spray paint off of it. Um, I have some work to do on this damn fender and we have a lot of prep work to do on the hood as well. I would like to get as much of this stuff primered as I can. And of course, I am still working on the damn bumper. <laughs> I need to get the bumper in primer as well. So that is going to be my goal in the next video is to try to get as much of that done as I possibly can. But I am only one person. So I've said this time and time again. Prep work is very repetitive. You're doing the same thing over and over and over for hours and it's really hard to make content on that. And that's the reason why I'm behind is because all the hours I spent sanding the parts that we already have done, man. I could easily spend 10 hours just doing sanding and prep work and have like 10 minutes worth of video footage. And it's mostly just me talking like I am right now. Anyhow, I am currently on same day. So as you can see, it is currently 2.30. It is Thursday, March 28th. The same day you are seeing this video. So uh, I'm gonna go in there and get this edited for you guys. Cause I didn't have a video up yesterday and I really don't wanna go today without posting something for you guys. So if this is kind of on the shorter side, that's the reason why. I'm going to edit this, get it posted up for you guys, and then get back out here and start working on tomorrow's video. We got to get this door tore apart, and I would really like to get this thing in primer. Well, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do smash the like button. Of course, it helps me out tremendously. Put in the comments down below if you guys are ready for some new merch, because I have most certainly been working on merch, and I have a few designs that I am definitely excited about. Peace, and I'll see you tomorrow.